snow there probably by about seven or eight o'clock this morning. Okay. 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 Quick shot of snow. Mid morning probably not a good time to head across uh, the passes. It's, because what's down here is going to be up there then. Gotcha. So yeah. gotcha. So. And it was really wet driving into work. It was, this well, morning. we're sitting right under the front right now. The back edge of the front should move through here probably between about six and seven. It's going to be like turning off the faucet. So, though, taking a step back for the Sounders game tonight, it should be dry. Good. Oh, good. Yeah, no, good. All the help we can get. Probably in the 40s, uh, low to mid 40s during the game, but it should be dry because it'll just be a little bit up and around the Everett area at that point. There so. you go, Everett. Just so as you know, let's take a look outside. If you can just step outside to see what you need to know right now. It has been pouring rain here for the last two or three hours, but starting to see the back edge of that starting to work its way into the south sound right now. And this is the cold front actually pushing its way through. And once that gets through, we're going to have showers around. And most of those will start to retract pretty quickly up to just basically north of Seattle up towards Everett. The usual suspects up there for the convergence zone. And that's where we see those showers kind of continue on through the morning and into the afternoon. But elsewhere, we should see things dry out and start to clear out a little bit. So that's definitely good news. Take a look out right now around the area. If you were going to do that, hello. See if it's happy. There it is. I just needed to be talked to nicely. Wanted to be asked, please, would you advance? See, that does work. How about that? Check, <laughs> check Everett right now. You can see we've got a little bit of rain there on the lens. It continues to pound down up and down the I-5 corridor right now. Looking there at uh, Granite Falls High School, which you can see through the rain wash lens there. It looks pretty wet at the moment. Temperature is fairly mild thanks to the cloud cover overnight. And we're mostly in the uh, mid-40s right now around western Washington. Checking the satellite image, you can see the back edge of that front pushing its way on through here. A breakout here. High pressure is going to be moving through tonight and tomorrow. That is going to give us a break for holiday travel tomorrow. Basically going to be uh, dry. We'll see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow, but the system just starting to edge into the view there. It's going to spread rain back in here. It's going to be with rising snow levels. It'll probably be maybe transition from snow a little early in the North Cascades anyway on Thursday, and then uh, it'll be turning to rain at the passes. We head towards later in the day on Thursday, and then it looks like it stays well above the mountain passes all the way through the week. And we'll take a look at the Thanksgiving weekend forecast coming up in our five o'clock hour. Check in our seven day forecast though for right now. Decreasing showers, uh, this front through and then decreasing showers, mainly in the convergence zone this afternoon, mid to upper 40s. Partly sunny, mid to upper 40s tomorrow. Increasing rain Thursday and turning a little breezy, mainly north of Seattle. Nothing too serious, but it will. The usual windy places will be a little windy. Rain turning to showers on Friday. You see those temperatures warming up. Rainy and mild Saturday, mid 50s, and that turns to showers on Sunday. Partly sunny Monday, but those temperatures over the weekend actually pretty balmy getting into the mid to maybe even a few upper 50s.